October 8th. And this is part of our Temptations Day celebration from the 15th through the 29th. We promised you on the 29th that it was going to be a big day. Yes, we did. And this is it. This is Tara's cookbook number four. And I can tell you that as a dear friend, and I have known her for many years, I was flipping through this book and looking at the recipes. And this is so Tara. This is so much representative of my dear friend and her accomplishments in the kitchen, not just on your tabletop. 130 plus recipes, larger font, darker print, pictures throughout and it's easy quick recipes found in your grocery store. It's a featured price of $19.95. This book, my friend, yes. is a triumph. Oh, I have to tell you. So my mom, she's so adorable. Obviously, many of you know, I have been cooking all of my family recipes for years and years, and that has been kind of my point of view on cookbooks. And I really felt like since marrying, getting married recently two years ago, and now having four grandchildren and five children, big family now, I wanted to truly share my recipes, the ones my, that are my go-to that I make every day. My mother read the book. She got a copy, cover to cover. She said she read it like a novel. She said, read it overnight. And she said, you know what, honey? I really feel like the torch has been passed. I really feel like you have incorporated all of the things and traditions that our family, that her mother taught her, that she taught me, and you made it your own with colorful confetti salad, with not your grandma's chicken pot pie, which I'm going to show you, I which is it. absolutely delicious, with your cordon bleu. I, it's a special twist on all of those favorites. We do um, uh, tomato soup shooters with little grilled cheese on top with pickles. You saw we did Reuben sandwiches. We did uh, right. different deli bake sandwiches. Just a special twist. And here at the end of the day, there's this. no better compliment than when someone asks you, for your recipe. These are the recipes worth sharing from truly my family, my new family, to all of you. Do you want to dive in? I absolutely I do. I am so excited to show all of you this. Um, this food is, this This whole room smells amazing. I just have to Thank say. You. It smells absolutely incredible. But how about we start with a little breakfast? I, I need to start with breakfast because this for me, I love. First of all, I love a protein breakfast. It fills me up. I feel good for the day. This is an easy, easy recipe. And these are our sausage and cheese egg muffins. You can make these ahead of time. Make them in our little um, six cup muffin if you want to, oh. freeze them, heat them up and take them on the go. I use water instead of milk because I find that it's a little fluffier. So you can put anything in these breakfast sandwiches. I just happen to love sausage. Love, love I'm already two bites in. And cheese. What do you think? Um, so good. Not taking TV bites. That is not how David taught me. <laughs> um, but full of flavor. Yes. And I feel like it's light enough that I can still function. Sorry, that's a chipmunk cheek mm -hmm. that I was taught. Yep. Um, I can still function throughout my morning, but I don't feel like I'm weighted yes. down. So packed, so and, good. And that's what I love. So whether it's something as simple as breakfast mm. or, of course, it's an appetizer if you wanted to. I love what what we call our, our pretzel nuggets oh, because so they're fantastic. There's a secret in the book on how to make them perfectly with boiling you know what but you'll see what I love about these cut a little X they're made with regular dough you roll them in a ball put a little X little butter little salt put them in the oven you are good to go the cheese sauce uh-huh there's a recipe for that as well and if you want to make it a little adult wise drop the milk and actually add beer and that Ooh. Uh, hello and that cheese sauce is delicious Tell me, we're, for, we're in Philadelphia, where you can make your own pretzels, which growing up, we didn't do popcorn as a family. The pretzel craze had kind of come out, and we microwaved it. pretzels. And so I wanted to recreate this because the kids love this. Now, you know, if, you, if you've met me before, I am gluten-free, so I am passing up on a couple things, not because I want to, <laughs> but because I have to. It smells so great, and those pretzel bites look incredible. Already 500 have been ordered just in the show today. But it, since its launch, since it was even yeah mentioned yeah. we've had over 4200 picked amazing. up Thank um, you. so this is an advanced order will ship to you october 8th yes you're getting recipes for all day long all occasions every day and special occasions but it's $19.95. Darker font, larger font, pictures throughout, and it's ingredients I can find at my grocery store. Which, where are we going And the next? Today's Special Value on the cover there with our mac oh. and cheese. So I want to talk about not your grandma's chicken pot pie because I bragged about it while you were showing it in the preview. So, what the, so there's a two-part step to this, which I love. First of all, if you want a shortcut, go ahead and get rotisserie chicken. It's that easy, and I will tell you, I only get rotisserie chicken when I'm making things. That's there's a Tara chicken pot pie. There's two things I don't make anymore, stock and chicken. Okay. I buy them because it's just that much easier. What we did, not your, not your uh, grandmother's chicken pot pie, we put stuffing on top. 
Now there's a Ooh. stuffing, my mom's sausage stuffing recipe in the book that you can use, but that's the topping. Hello, um, stuffing, chicken, carrots, celery, onions. It is truly an explosion of taste every time. You hated that, huh? Clean Every club. time you eat it. So pot pie doesn't have to be cumbersome. It doesn't have to take all day. I'm telling you, this is, this is worth the price of the book. I wanna show you guys a little bit of the inside. How about tomato soup shooters with grilled cheese That's dippers? That's what I was telling you. How about grilled romaine with balsamic glaze? She's going to walk you all through it. How about an artichoke and chicken melty panini? Yes, please. How about a one-pan shrimp fajita? How about a country corn casserole with vanilla butter? And I may be hearing something in the hallway. That's probably David running. Um, <laughs> All-American baked beans. Yes, please. How about a little glazed pumpkin ring cake? Look how easy this. it is to read. You Look can make at a the candy bomb. You can make Boom. a candy brownie bomb that is so easy. Most of the time, you only get them at restaurants and people are like there's no way I can create this oh wait if you get the book you can create it and it's easy like three steps I'm telling you Mary the mac and cheese is calling you it's like if you don't get over here Mary, and look at me come, come here come here um take a look what's on top uh, cornflakes stop I mean because who doesn't want a little crunch in their mac and cheese this this is so funny this is my grandkids favorite mac and cheese Aww. I have to say that why there's a secret three cheeses one of them but one of them is Havarti but here's what I love first of all when you're cooking in temptations you get that even heating all the way around. But look at all the layers of cheese. The other secret, I use big noodles. So look at how ooey gooey. Look at the cheese just breaks apart. Look at you as if you're going to eat it. I'm look helping. Look at that. Because I know I as soon as we this. walk away, people are going to tackle this, this table. This is stick to your ribs, beautiful mac and cheese that, by the way, is delicious. Now, look at that. Now, well over a thousand have been ordered just in this show. May I give you a heads up that if there are enough remaining, this will be in In the Kitchen with David later on, I do believe. So if you plan on watching that show later and you think, oh, I'll just pick up the cookbook then, I would not wait. <laughs> This is an advanced yes. order. You are reserving your copy. This will ship out to you the week of October 8th. That mac and cheese will set you, Do you free. you smell that? I got to yes. tell you, it is delicious. Three cheeses. It's it's oh, a mozzarella. So it's good. a cheddar. And, of course, it's the Havarti. How much do I love hearing you say my grandkids? My grandkids. That warms my Me heart too. so much. Me um, too. What is, okay, so speaking of tradition, speaking of family. Everybody drop them off. Growing up since I was six years old, I have been eating these Swedish meatballs, and I am so excited to include them in the book. My mom's best friend was Swedish. She This was her tradition. She's since passed, but we carried it on year after year after year. So whether you're making them and putting them over egg noodles or you want to just go ahead and use them as a side you can do that as well as an appetizer we always used it with a little uh, berry sauce i won't Ooh. name any names um, but you can go ahead and dip in that as well so it's a meal, but it's also an appetizer. So whether it's the mac and cheese, whether it's not your grandma's um, pot pie, whether it's down at the end of the table, we have desserts, which we haven't even talked about. Do you want about. to talk about that? Uh, are you kidding? Can I, oh, I, I should just, have started with the desserts. I just so happened. 1,500 now. And you're allowed to eat one. Morning. Oh, there you go. Oh, look um, at that. So crispy treats are uh, hands down my favorite dessert. And Why? They're no bake. Yeah, and I'm so using easy. a fork. I'm sorry. But we drizzled caramel sauce. I, I can't. I can't. We drizzled chocolate sauce wrong. and we added some pecans. So this is that updated adult pecan turtle crispy treat. Go ahead, tell me, because I know. I heard it. I'm moving in. <laughs> you may. I'm I'll cook moving for you in. every day, my friend. Oh, look at that. Little turtle bite on top of your favorite crispy uh, cause, treat. Because why David, wouldn't you? Hydrate and do your stretches, <laughs> my friend. It's game time. Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. I gotta get in there again. I know you can't try our, our chocolate cake. It's our crazy good chocolate cake. And the secret is sour cream in with your recipe. So when you want super moist cakes, when you want something to look this delicious and mile high, you wanna try this crazy good chocolate cake. Cause I have to tell you, it's a homemade icing that we've been making for my family for years. So chicken pot pies, cakes, nuggets, mac and cheeses, everything you could put, tacos. There's, I, I love uh, Mexican food. There's a whole section of tacos in there. $19.95, 130 plus recipes. I'm showing you a little sneak peek at the foreword. Yeah. Because we may know the lovely gentleman that wrote the foreword for this beautiful book. That's our very own David Venable. I have to tell you, it's so sweet. And, and he mentions it in there that he's been coming to my home for mm -hmm. various meals. And he said this absolutely is an expression of everything that Tara cooks. And he always leads off with the garlic and guac. That is his <laughs> fave. I'm that just is saying. his fave for sure. <laughs> um, take a look. 2,000 now ordered just in Thank our two-hour Temptations I, extravaganza. That is it. 
5,700 since its launch. Thank you, everyone. This is Tara's fourth cookbook. Believe me, just as beautiful as is her Temptations designs, that is how gorgeous her cooking is as well. And this, as, as one of her friends for the last many years here at QVC, this cookbook to me is truly, truly you. And I, I see you. love, I see beautiful cooking, of course I see skill, but I see recipes that we can all do. Yeah, and it's generational, right? Like my mom said, the torch has been passed. I now want to pass this down to my children and to our grandchildren because Ooh. I think at the heart of the day, uh, yeah, hello, we eat with our eyes first, even if it's a no-bake s'mores cake, whether it's your nachos over here, Mary, where we have pulled pork, which I don't know if you want to try some pulled pork, but- Of course we, I do. We can, can you get me a bowl? Oh, you're just going to go you right in with the pork? Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> pulled pork you're allowed to eat, by the way, my friend. You, you can't have, have the taco, but you can make the pulled pork and how easy to make it in a slow cooker and make your tacos however you want them. Tell me, go ahead, tell me. Oh my gosh, it's Hi. delicious. It's <laughs> That's why I love you. Did I look like the cover? Not a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> totally. Um, so delicious, every recipe just gets better and better and better. 2,500 have now been ordered. It's 8.48 in the morning on the East Coast and 6,200 cookbooks have already been Thank reserved. You guys. This I didn't is take a TV bite either. At a girl. I know, I never do. I always forget. I'm like, what um, do we do with this? Keep in mind, 130 recipes, bigger font, darker font, all groceries that we can find at the store. But this is a big two hour extravaganza. Mm -hmm. We have our today's special value. We have brand new items in the show as well. And we have Lisa who's chatting along on the QVC Love page. That. Hi Lisa, what's happening? Hey Mary, hey Tara. Well, I, you know, 